Hey, my dolls, welcome, and welcome back to yours truly, Dolan. My name's Elijah. Everyone just calls me Dolan. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button to be part of the Dolan family. If you just joined, welcome, and thank you for taking a chance on me. And my day one A ones, you already know. All right. All right, my dolls, welcome back. Always nice to see you. So, before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for all the get well wishes I received in my last video. I am feeling so much better. My throat is better. Voice is coming back. I'm not 100%, I'm about 95, 96%. Still have that little cough, but nothing like how I was in my last video. So I just wanted to take a minute and thank each and every one of you. And I truly appreciate it. So thank you so much. All right, so I have a couple of packages. So we're gonna start with these. All right, then we're gonna wrap up the video with part two of these medallion size, these three inch, 100 years of wonder pins. So we'll get into that shortly. So let's get started. So the first package I received from my dear friend, Pam, from Coco for Disney. If you're not following her, go ahead and check out her channel. If you love all things Disney, when I say all things, I mean all things Disney, you're gonna love her. She has a great personality and her channel. So please go show her some love. And if you do, let her know, Dolan sent ya. So, a few weeks ago, probably maybe about maybe three weeks ago or so, I did a video on these blind box pins from Sleeping Beauty. Gorgeous pins, gorgeous pins. So I got four out of, I believe there were seven. Melissa from Pixie Dust and Peaches also did this collection and she got five out of seven. And my dear friend Pam also did it as well. So anyways, the three of us reached out to each other and if we had any duplicates, we were gonna switch with each other because we were determined to complete this set, you all. And uh, so we did just that. And so, Pam was kind enough to send me, there was two pieces, well actually it was three. There was three pieces I needed. And so she sent me two that I needed. So before I show you, she sent them in these boxes. So if you remember, I had did these a few weeks ago. Gorgeous box. And, uh, so when she uh, sent these to me, look at that. So she has this green tape and then inside on the black part is like a foam texture. And uh, the pin was literally inside. So to protect the pin, but how she decorated it was just beautiful. I love glitter, glam, glitz, rhinestones, whatever it is, honey. And uh, she did it right here. So it's just beautiful. Tell you, it's all about the packaging. So thank you, Pam. And like I said, there was two. So there was two of these boxes and she wrapped them just like that. So let me show you the first pin that she sent me. And this is the Maleficent. Because if you remember, I opened it, I got all the good stuff. Let's just say all, all the good stuff. I didn't get no evil, no nothing. So I didn't get nothing of Maleficent. So we have Maleficent here, and then we have Prince Philip down here fighting the dragon. I hope that's coming out. Gorgeous pin. And then they're like a gun metal. And this is the back. So just beautiful pin. Anyway, so this was the first one that she sent me. This is the second, so let me show you the back. So this is the end piece. And I had, when I first did mine, I had the other end. So now I have the other end. And it is Maleficent again. And this is one I did not have. I didn't collect anything really Maleficent. So she was kind enough. She reached out to me and she had these duplicates. And so she sent them my way. And I just want to say, Pam, thank you so much. Y'all, these pins were not cheap. These, these were almost like 20 bucks. I think they were like 18 after tax and shipping, for sure, after 20 bucks. But um, Pam was kind enough, so sweet, uh, to send me these two pieces right here. So I truly, truly appreciate it, Pam. Thank you so much. Um, it was Pam and Melissa and myself. We were all excited when this came out and we had to have it. I haven't seen any other channel really do this set, but the three of us, yeah, uh, this was a must for us. So again, thank you so much, Pam. I truly, truly appreciate it. And again, if you're not following her, it's Coco for Disney. Check out her channel. I'll put her link right here. And you all, show her some love. All right, the next one, I don't want to show you the front, has some cute stickers, but this is from Pixie Dust and Peaches, aka Melissa. 
And uh, I already opened it, you all, so but I just want to go ahead and uh, share it with you all so the card. I've got Ariel in the front. How beautiful the bottom of the card, or the envelope. And this is the inside. And the print. All right, and then we have a thank you card. And I love her business card. So this is her, you all. So if you're not following Pixie Dust and Peaches, this is her card. She also does all things Disney. Um, I love when she does uh, the Vera Bradley stuff. Dooney and Burke is my favorite. So I love when she does the Dooney and Burke stuff. I'm just so in awe with it. Not only bags, you know, she does lounge flies. Maybe a lot of pins. I love pins. So I was never a pin collector up until I can say maybe about mm, a year, maybe a year, going on a year almost or so of collecting pins. And I love it. So if you love pins, check out um, this is she has two channels so pixie dust and peaches is where she does like the bags like Jim Shores there's another brand I can't think of it I think it's an Inesco or um, anyways if I think of it I'll put it right here um, but they're just beautiful pieces beautiful artwork and then the second channel is pixie pins pixie dust and y'all I'll put it right here this is her second channel and if you love pins Go ahead and check her channel out. Trust me, you will fall in love with her and, and all the pins that she has to share. So I have a pin in here, but she also sent a few little goodies. And if you've been with my channel long enough, you know that I love Jack. Jack is definitely one of my favorites. And she uh, gave me this little bag clip. And he's in his little Santa outfit, his little bag. This is the back. And here's a little clip. So I may put it on one of my bags but it's so cute. And if you remember a few weeks back, I did a mystery, the Nightmare Before Christmas mystery box. And I wasn't too fond of it. Didn't get like a lot of stuff that I wanted. There was maybe like two items, which was a Jack plushie. And this was the other one. So it was a bag clip, but I got Jack again. And y'all know I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. So his little outfit. So this was perfect. So I may put this on another bag, one of my Jack bags. But so cute. So now I got two. So thank you, Melissa. I just love them. Oh, she did include another, another trinket. And this is a button. And it's Jack. Yes, honey. When I saw this, I was so excited. So I'll find a place for it somewhere. I just don't want it to get damaged or scratched. But um, maybe on one of my bags that I take to work or something. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it in here. But thank you so much, Melissa. I just love it. She knows I love Jack. And this is perfect. So thank you. Love it. All right, y'all. And the pin. Again, so this is the back. And these are just gorgeous pins. So like I said, I needed three to complete the set. And um, this was the last one I needed. And so we have Maleficent and Diablo. I hope you all can see that. Sorry about the ring light. But just a gorgeous piece. I love it. I love it. Again, we have the gun metal. We have the shoe on the top. See it right there with the light. And then it's just like a floral pattern or design on the bottom. So anyways, thank you, Melissa. Melissa and I, we did a pin trade. So I had one that she needed. It was actually um, of her sleeping. And I just needed Maleficent, period. So Pam was kind enough to send me those two. And then this was the third one that I needed. So Melissa, thank you so much. And Pam, thank you, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. That was super nice, super kind of you, y'all. Pam just has a heart of gold. Um, like I said, these pins aren't cheap. And uh, so she sent me these two. And then Melissa and I, we did a pin trade. And so at the end of the video, I'll show you the complete set of what this looks like. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get into that part two of those Disney 100 Years of Wonder pins or the medallion size pin, so let's get started. All right, so here's the package. All right, and then they're all in here. Okay, so they're individually wrapped in bubble wrap. And then of course they're all in plastic. So this is the first one. And we have Woody. Let me take it out of the plastic. All right, so this is the back. Again, it's a three inch pin, so it has two backings and uh, this is the front. Again, it's a large pin. You can see the size of my palm. So I'm gonna take it off. Uh, the first one I'm gonna show you, again, the, the rest of them, I'm just gonna leave on the card because again, they're all the same. Okay, so that's back of the card. And I just love 
love love silver so i'm glad they stuck with that so this is the back and you can see the uh, recycling symbol in the back and then on the bottom right here these are a limited edition of 300 and again these are good size pins they do have some weight to them i love how his feet come out it goes beyond the medallion size pin and again i love the background almost like a marble it has a hint of like pinkish a little purple right here see like a little streak anyways this is woody now, i'm not a woody fan you all i don't collect anything i really don't have anything of woody but i wanted something nice like i mentioned in the past i have this large frame i have coming in soon and what i want to do is have a nice just something to remember the 100th year um, of disney or wonder so i have bought a bunch of these if you remember part one uh, if you missed it i'll put the link somewhere up here or down in the description box below so you can watch that first video so this is part two so uh, again I'm, there's some characters in here that i don't collect but I think it's going to look nice when I put that frame together. And when I do, and when it comes in and get all these situated, I'll do a video just on that alone to show you how that came out. So I can't wait uh, to put that piece together. But anyways, um, I mean, I don't mind waiting. You know, it's not like I don't like him, but I just don't collect anything of him. But um, he's okay. All right, y'all, give me a minute because I'm going to take them all out of the packages because they're all wrapped individually. So uh, I'm going to do that right now. But for you, it'll probably just be a couple of seconds before I bring the next one out. So. So give me one second, y'all. All right, y'all, I got them all out. Now again, like I said, I'm not gonna take off the pin off the cardboard, so I'm gonna leave them on here. But um, again, they all, they're all the same. They have two backings. Um, this one's a little dented or got smashed on the side. You can see the card right here. Now, if I wasn't putting them in that frame and wanted to keep them on the, the card, I probably would be a little upset right now because, you know, Disney knows that a lot of people are buying these to collect these. And uh, to have a car that's like damaged and smashed like that, you know, that's not gonna probably work well with some people. So they should find another way to ship these or at least put them in something where they won't get damaged. But like I said, I'm taking them off anyways. They're going in the frame. So, so it's not a problem for me, but anybody, you know, who collects or saves these, yeah, they might be a little upset. But anyways, we got Moana, gorgeous pin. Again, these do have some weight to them. Anyways, I hope that's picking up. Now, some of these, like the faces I had mentioned in part one, are a little creepy. So you can see her face right there. It's kind of creepy. I mean, let me know in the comments down below. Do you all agree? <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel that for these being, I believe these were 35. 30? No, 35. I think these were 35 each. So, for that kind of money, I mean, you would think the face would be a little bit better. But anyways, this is her, her aura, and her orange top. So again, depending on the character, um, the color on it will change. So the, everything is, the majority is going to be silver. But anyways, so this is Moana. Okay, so this is our next one. And we have Nemo. Yeah, so he's bright orange. Very colorful, stands out. Cute pin. Again, I don't collect anything uh, Nemo. The majority of these characters I don't collect. And um, not that I don't like them. They're okay. But, um, you know, they're not a favorite. So that's Nemo. Very cute. Ooh, this one's very glossy. And we have Miss Snow. Y'all see that? Does this one seem extra shiny than the rest? I don't know. To me, she looks extra shiny. But we have Miss Snow. You see her face right there. Gorgeous pins. Like I said, I can't wait to put these in the frame. So now that I have all of them here, now I can kind of categorize and place like how I, or where I want to place them in the frame. I don't have the frame yet, um, that's coming soon, but at least I can have an idea of where I want to start placing them now uh, since they're here. Look at the way that red pops, it's just beautiful. Do we have any uh, Snow White lovers out there? Yes, all right. Our next pin we have Elsa. Look at that, look at her stance, her pose, the position, and her face, uh, kind of a little creepy if you get really close. So anyways, that's her. And again, I love the way how um, either like their feet, their hands, the way they extends beyond the pin. So up here a little bit, and then the part of her dress or the cape that goes beyond the pin. So I just love that. There we go. So this is Elsa. All right, and the next one we have Mulan. 
Now I know there's a few Mulan lovers out there. And I do have her bag, by the way. Literally, it's like right behind me, like right down in this cubicle right here. But uh, yeah, so this is Mulan. I love the way that green pops. All right, so we have three more. The next one we have Miguel. Yes, so y'all know I love Miguel. Mainly two of them are like my favorite. Our three we'll say is uh, Miguel, Mama Coco, and Pepita. I like uh, the three favorites of mine. So we have Miguel. Love that red sweater. Look at that guitar. And there's some detail too in the guitar here and on top. And again, the guitar extends beyond. His head comes off a little bit and then his feet do extend past the pin. So I just love this pin. Gorgeous. And our next one, we have Tiana. And I'm telling you, these pins have some weight to them. These are some heavy pins. So I have a feeling that frame is gonna be quite heavy. Because part one, pins, and then these pins, and then there's a couple of more that I'm adding to that uh, frame. So I gotta make sure that the uh, I get some pretty sturdy brackets or something so it doesn't fall from the wall. Or I just might display like on maybe like, like on the shelf that I have and put the frame on it and kind of just like lay it against the, the wall or something just to be on the safe side, but we'll see. We'll see how that works out. But tell me she's not gorgeous. I mean, just look at that shine, the green. She just looks so graceful. So that's Tiana. And the last one, y'all know I gotta save the best for last. And we have my girl, Tink. Yes, y'all know I love me some Tink. So look at her wings, look how much they come out past the pin. And then her feet, just a little bit. And then the other wing comes out just a little bit, but this one extends out a little further. And her pose, and it's like she's looking at the, the Disney 100. But just a gorgeous pin. And I'm glad, I am so glad that they stuck with silver and didn't do a gold. Because yeah, I know people love gold. But I'm not a gold person. I don't like rose gold either. Um, silver is just it for me, or white gold. But this is beautiful. So that's why I went ahead and bought the first wave. And then when I heard about the second wave, I bought the second wave. This is something that I want to, uh, like I said, put in the frame. Something that's going to stick around for a while. Like a memory to look back on the 100. This is a big one. So that's a solid number. So I wanted to, you know, have something special for that. All right, y'all. So these are the pins. This was part two. I love my Tink, Miguel. Y'all know Miss Snow has been growing on me lately. We're not done yet. All right, y'all. So give me one minute so I can put these together for you and show you what they look like. All right, y'all, so here is the complete set. Look how colorful that is. This is it, y'all. This is it, I love it. I don't know, there was some speculation that there might be other, other movies coming out in this style or form. So if they have The Little Mermaid, you know, I'm definitely gonna be on that one. So these are just beautiful. So now, right now, I gotta find on Amazon or somewhere to find a frame. I just don't want any frame to put it in. The frame is gonna have to be special for this piece. But when I find it, you can believe I'll go ahead and share it here with you all. So anyways, this completes the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It truly helps me and the channel out more than you know. Again, we're on the road to 2K, so I'm going to be mentioning this in every video. So share this out on your social media platforms, however you see fit. I would greatly appreciate it. Other than that, it's Friday. Happy Aloha Friday. And as always, I love you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Aloha.